And for today's video, we're going to be shooting the 165 grain nozzler partition, 30 caliber. I'm going to be shooting a high velocity load out of a 300 wind mag and a reduced load simulating long range out of a 308. These guys here, go check out Seb sub moa shooting dot com you can get these little sample packs save yourself some money in load development Well, I was hoping those jugs would catch my low velocity round, but they most definitely did not. And it destroyed all three of them. That one was traveling at 1,713 feet per second. Yeah, it's not going to show it all on this side. You got fairly decent permanent wind cavity in there. We'll go over those in more detail at home. Yeah, permanent wind cavity doesn't look too terrible at all. really pretty about a good inch and a half two inch permanent wound cavity all the way through both of those blocks now, now for that high velocity Definitely decimated that first block. Let's see if we can see that bullet in here. Right. That bullet is about right here. I got a air reading on my chronograph with that one. But uh, when I was shooting these the other day out of my 300 wind mag, they were averaging 3180, so just under 3200 feet per second. But I uh, have to say, overall, did good. That's what I would expect out of a nozzle partition. Um, although, yes, they will perform quite well at lower velocities. Definitely not a bullet I would recommend for that, as their ballistic coefficient is pretty low. And they just don't maintain that energy at distance. But for what they're designed for, phenomenal performer bullet. <laughs>